Welcome to the testing word. So now we are going to understand assertions. So when we are doing manual testing, in each of the test case, we are comparing actual result with expected result. And on the behalf of that, we can say my test case is pass or fail. In the same way, when we are working on automation or else selenium, we need to compare actual result with expected result. So here we are going to use assertions with the help of that we can compare actual result with expected result and accordingly we can pass or fail test cases. These assertions we are not going to write in our test case level because same assertion can be used on a multiple places. I give an example. I want to check I'm on a correct page or not. For that I can, I can either validate URL. I can either validate any unique element of that page. I can validate title of the page. So these are few assertions which are required in many test cases. So rather than writing it to the test case level, we can write it in a separate file and we can call it wherever required. So with the help of the assertions, we can compare actual with expected results. Now I'll show you how we can write assertions. In this framework, I'm going to create only one assertion as of now, but later on you can write any number of assertions. I'm just moving to Eclipse. Here I'm going to create one more package and org.automation.testingword and dot assertions. We can write any name of the package. I'm just giving my name. And here I'm going to create a class with the name compare and the class is created here inside the class and I'm going to create an assertion which is going to validate URL. So public void validate page URL. And again, as we have seen in previous session while implementing POM, we need driver object because to work on a page, we need driver object so i'm asking for web driver object like pass me the web driver object and then i can work on the browser apart from it i need expected url because when we are comparing actual and expected actual url we can pick from the page which is opened currently by the automation but expected url we need because on the behalf of that we can compare it's a it is matching or not. So I need two arguments here and here in this method. Now I need to compare actual URL with expected URL. Expected URL we are expecting from the test case. Actual we need to pick from the browser. For that I can use like boolean flag and I'm taking I'm taking a boolean type of variable and the value of that variable is false by default. Now what I'm doing if driver dot get current URL, this current URL is going to pick actual URL from the open page, which is open opened by my automation. So I'm picking the current URL of that page and then equals ignore case expected URL. It is picking actual URL from the page and comparing with the expected URL. And if it is done, if it is compared, I'm setting this flag value to true. And here I'm returning. Hello friends, hope you're enjoying our videos. And if you find this video is beneficial for you, please subscribe our videos by clicking on this subscribe button. After subscribing, you will get immediate notification for all the videos which we are going to upload. Happy learning! Return flag. So here we have created a method which is taking two arguments. One is the driver object and other is the expected URL. And checking if the actual URL is equal to the expected URL, then set this value of the flag is true, else it is false. So if actual expected are match, it is going to return true. If it is not match, it's going to return false. And I need to mention Boolean over here. 
So I have created one assertion method which will take expected URL, will check actual and expected. It is going to return true if actual and expected are same, false when actual and expected are different. That's the one assertion I have created. I can create one more assertion like I want to validate page title. So I'm just copying this and validate page title here. We are asking for the web driver object and expected title. So you can create any number of assertions. If you are not very much comfortable in the assertions, you can go our Selenium with Java course. There we have created all the assertions that are required. So expected title, I'm checking here, get title. It is going to pick actual title and we are validating that value with the expected title. So one more method is created. One is validating the page URL and one is page title. In the same way, I can create any number of assertions. As of now, we have just created these assertions. We are not using it in our test case. I'll show you how we can use that. One more concept I want to update over here. These methods are required to be called in many test cases. So one option is there that we can create object and call these methods object of the compare class and call these methods other it could be I can make these methods static so advantage would be anybody can call these method just by the class name you need not to create object of that class now assertions are done so here if I notice my assertions are done that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video Hi friends, hope you are enjoying this video. If you have any question regarding this video, you can ask your question in the comment section. Also, I would request you to please subscribe our channel. You can subscribe it by clicking on this subscribe button for getting notification about all the new videos which we are going to upload on the daily basis. Also, we are offering our all the video courses at very high discounted price. We have 50 plus video courses which can be beneficial for you in your daily job activities if you are interested to buy any video course or all video course you can call or whatsapp us on this number also you can be in touch with us by using facebook linkedin or twitter happy learning